the Southampton players in their away kit of the lime yellow shirts with black shorts that they had at Bournemouth on Monday will hope they're a bit more fortuitous in those kits this afternoon as they shake hands with the Arsenal players. He plays it inside to Havertz, now to Saka. It's all Arsenal. Saka inside the penalty, goes to the byline, pulls it back. It's allowed, goes past everyone. Low shot, deflected away from the six-yard box and just hacked away by Manning. And then he's all hands to the pump. It's that 1-0 win, by the way, was Jan Bednarik's goal. As now they get a good ball through the lines to Aribo, out to Dibbling. This is good, up against Calafiori. Dibbling from the right, hangs it into the penalty area. Stewart doesn't get off the ground, it goes behind him. Comes down for Walker Peters, who volleys it. And he volleys it, just caught it on the arch of his foot a bit, took the pace off it. You don't have this very often with Southampton in the last year or so, everybody. 24th minute, they've had 32% possession. Arsenal 67 point something. Arsenal have had seven shots in the first quarter of the game. Saints get a free kick for a foul on Ross Stewart by Declan Rice. Seven shots. How about this? I do like it, Fernandez. He's clever. I, He's I know he wins the ball back, and then he, then he realizes that. Now, ball kicked out of play by Jan Bednarek because Ross Stewart is injured. Oh no! And he's got his hands on his head. He's sitting down on the floor. The question is, what is the injury and where is the injury, Joe? Because if that's on his Achilles. No, it's on his thigh. thigh. He, he crashed with uh, Declan Rice in the middle, got the free kick, but... Then back it goes to William Saliba. Or in his sixth year at Arsenal, though you wouldn't really think it, because he spent a couple of years out on, on, in Europe on loan before becoming a sort of folk hero. Now it comes back inside to Jorginho, back to Saka. That's clever from him, does the simple things well. Saka tries to cross left foot, it goes back to Jorginho. Right-footed shot, he's just wide! That's as close as Arsenal have come in the first 40 minutes of this game. Ramsdale watches it go wide. He's and The ball is deep in Arsenal's half, cleared by Thomas Partey. It's actually a really good clearance. And then Havertz gets a lovely touch, and Arsenal might break on Saints here. This could be trouble. They switch it out to the far side. Sterling's driving into the penalty area. Shigawara backtracks Sterling on his right foot. Oh, it's hit the retreating Bednarik in the back of the head. He knew nothing about it. And Saints have survived for the moment. Important. <laughs> Very important. Dig in, that's what we got to do here on the pitch. <laughs> Step over from Gabriel Jesus, and in the end, Walker Peters decided not to engage Havertz, allowed him to play it out to Saka on the right. Back to party, save from Ramsdale, follow up is wide. Is it a goal kick? Is it a corner? The home fans want a corner. The linesman doesn't know what to give here, Joe. Oh, and the ref doesn't know. The ref gives the corner. The linesman didn't give that because he hasn't flagged. Stoically got to half time all square despite Arsenal's dominance of possession and territory. And Sterling immediately comes off that left wing, drives inside, drops it off for Gabriel Jesus. He shoots. It's two or three yards wide of the left, trying to curl it in, didn't get enough on it. But now Samson perhaps can work it out to this near side to Dibbling. They do from Harwood Bellis. Takes on Calafiori and he goes round Calafiori. And this is good from Tyler Dibbling. He's gone past the Italian. He's in the box. He shoots. It deflects and he ends up on top of the net. So close to an own goal. So close to something. So close to a Saints goal. But all the trouble being caused by Dibbling absolutely did Ricardo Calafiori down this near side. And when he tried to get the ball left footed in, it in the end came off Fernandez who arrived in the box. Sugawara chests it down, plays it forward down the right. Thankfully, Aribo's up and OK. Game's playing on. And then Sugawara gets it off Aribo, but it hits his heel and goes backwards. And this time running back is Fernandez. Wins it back cleanly against Sterling. Plays the ball over the top for Cameron Archer. Archer trying to use his pace in the penalty area. Left hand side up against Saliba. Cuts it onto his right foot and shoots and it's in! Southampton have the lead at Arsenal! Fernandez and Archer involved, and Cameron Archer, after missing a penalty against Manchester United, has scored at the Emirates, and against the run of play, against the odds, Saints lead at the Gunners. It is Arsenal nil, Southampton one, and it is Cameron Archer's first Premier League goal for Saints. It looked a little bit offside for me, Adam, but I, I hope it's not, because it's a bit difficult angle. Fernandez does brilliant, he wins the ball back, tackles, plays it in behind, which I, I love that. And then when you have Archer, you, Rob Stier, Sterling from the ball and plays it straight in behind, perfect. That's what he's good, a good run. Archer get, doesn't get the best of touches on the first one, but drives inside with his pace and perfect shot into the corner. And they go back to Bednarek, into Mateus Fernandez, who's long pass set it up and then it's given away by Downs. Suddenly Havertz has it, left foot, 1-1. And Arsenal 
Arsenal have equalised. Havertz has seven goals in seven home games. And Saints lead lasted a matter of moments. Took his eye off it, goes out for an Arsenal throw, but these little things add up for Saints. They need to be accurate when they've got the ball. Now it's on the left wing with Martinelli, edge of the box, pulls it back inside. Marino squares it, Partey will have a shot, deflects and goes wide. It's a corner to Arsenal from the far side, but Sampton have got to get out and stop these shots going in. When the ball's going along the penalty, edge of the penalty area, Russell Martin needs to think about who's playing where now. He's got Walker Peters he could bring over here to deal with yeah, Martinelli's that, fresh legs. I, I think he held he's off got... uh, Calafiore and then the uh, Mourinho came on from the other side and, the, and he was double tagged at him and yeah. he, he, he kind of had to hold one player off. Him and, and Dibbling, it's interesting, they're going to get tired down this near side. There's been so much to deal with and on the far side, it's not easy. Saka on the left comes inside, sorry, to the left from the right. Back post! Volley! And Martinelli, the substitute, makes it 2 1 to Arsenal. He creeps in round the back past Shigawara and the Saints defence and Saka's ball from the right hand side curled to the back post was met beautifully by Martinelli he scores and Arsenal have turned things round as Saka's raiding down the right again Arsenal play it inside lovely turn on the edge of the penalty area Saka's back there again teasing Manning in back onto his left foot it's great skill from Saka turns again low shot deflected was that off the post off Ramsdale we're a long way from it yeah, but either way so and then an away game at Wolves critical period for Russell Martin and for Saints here's Downs moves it square to Dibbling midway inside the Arsenal half Saints sweeping forward here Dibbling thinks about the shot he has another think about it and then he takes the shot and it's just wide and his hands are on his head and the referee's given a corner he got a little deflection well Arsenal stood off him and they invited him and eventually draw, accepted yeah. the invitation and took the shot it's going to be whipped in right footed hung in towards the penalty spot and it's hit the crossbar and David Raya is so lucky he came out to punch it completely missed it Oh, it, it is. Was it Harwood Bellis? Harwood Bellis had runs in and gets. Oh, it hit, comes off him and bounces off Armstrong's shoulder onto the bar, I think. Oh, that is so close. Margins just against us. Good runs in. Used as a right winger like he was in the championship, affecting the game, Joe. And Saints have got it back from that long clearance from Ryan. Here's Dibbling again, faced by the headbanded Ricardo Calafiori. Then he plays a good ball into Armstrong. Armstrong onto Sugawara. Low ball across the six yard area just when we needed Tall Paul's long leg to stick out and put it in the net. He couldn't do it. How's Manning done, Dave, by the way? I mean, he came off, came off earlier, but he, he did okay, didn't he, when he played? Ryan Manning, I think, most of the game. Oh, Arsenal on the floor. Havertz kicks it. Trossard gains, drives towards the box, and then brilliantly, Joe Rebo. But there's Saka on the follow up. Arebo stops Trossard, but Saka was quickest to react to the loose ball, and he's drilled it past Ramsdale, who concedes three on his return to Arsenal. And Saka having set up, we're almost at the 99 minute point. Dibbling tries to come inside Kivior still drifting infield oh and then that hits the Havertz and it's a tired shot tired pass from Dibbling and that's it says Tony Hamilton Saints have lost again it's a bad week away from home three at Bournemouth three at Arsenal but the difference in the two performances quite stark from a terrible night at the Vitality to a fairly brave and stoic performance here at Arsenal